Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ariel Monique, and I'm back here with another video. I would like to thank you all for even coming to this channel, clicking this video. I appreciate all of you guys, but if you're new here and you are not subscribed, if you are not subscribed to your girl channel, make sure you do that right now. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bells on. Thumbs up. Like this video. Stay tuned to see how I achieve this slick, sleek ponytail look detail by detail step by step and this style literally takes less than 30 minutes and it's under 10 bucks thank you all stay tuned as you can see my hair is clean um i got a silk press like <laughs> two days ago and yeah that was my first time ever getting one so my hair really didn't do too well with it and it's hot as hell in georgia so yeah, that's why I'm actually doing this ponytail. But my hair grew so much, guys, and I finally got a clip to see how much hair I have. I can get a ponytail. Ooh, nice, thick, and healthy. But anyways, y'all here to see me do my long ponytail, my extension ponytail. So these are the products that I will be using in today's video. I have a slick stick that I got from my local beauty supply store. Like, don't know how much it was. Probably like six, seven dollars. I have my got to be glue gel you can find this anywhere these days cvs walgreens anywhere walmart target this spray as well can be found anywhere as well beauty supply stores included i am going to use probably one of these combs i have my what what do y'all call these somebody tell me what y'all call these the little wraps that they sell that they use in a hair salon when you're going to dry what do y'all call them I'm pretty sure I've been thinking the wrong thing this whole time. I'm not even going to tell you what I've been calling it. But yeah, a regular brush and a rat tail comb or a nice small tooth comb. So I'm going to use this comb. And here's the ponytail that I got. I already took it, taking it out the pack. Let me see if I can get the tag around so I can tell you exactly what it is. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I have to do any struggling, one. But um... Here's the ponytail that I got. It is 36 inches. Let me not say ponytail. This is the, the track hair. It's literally like tracks. I'm just going to wrap it around. So, yeah. And also, you'll need track glue. I don't have mine right now, but I got to go to my room and get it. Track glue as well. But this is the ponytail. This is... It's not human hair. Curling iron safe up to 400. Um, that's why I got wavy. And it is... Or again, unique French lab. I don't know how I feel about that name. But anyway, that's the brand, and it's like shake and go. And it just comes with a clear, a clear bag on top of it. That's it. So you really can't see what the package look like because it don't like nothing. But it says organique in the back. And I know it's neat because it's Q-U-E. I don't know if I have to about that. But anyway, that's the point too. So what I'm going to do first is I'm pretty much just going to comb, take a piece, and go pretty much, first I need to figure out if I want to do side or middle. Oh, that's a hard decision. Well, do y'all think I should do the middle part and then just go like this, or do y'all think I should do the side part? I, I think I'm gonna do the side part, but I ain't gotta worry about that right now. I'm gonna take pretty much most of my hair in the back. The part does not have to be any type of way. Just separate the front and the back. Oh, and you'll need a hair scrunchie. Can't forget that. But I think that's kind of common sense. But gonna take this part and comb it down your hair has to be straight for this method or like strained out kind of let's say that and I don't want my hair to be mad hard and blow dryer can't forget blow dryer that's it's on the floor that's why I couldn't I didn't say it earlier but got me a new can y'all so I'm pretty much just gonna take this spray and spray it on the back of my hair. Kind of up and through there too. Not necessarily on the ends, it's all about the roots with this hairstyle. And 
I'm gonna take this, maybe I should have my comb first. I'm gonna take this comb and like kind of just like try to slide it through, pretty much combing it through, but slicking it down at the same time. So he's taking, see the comb? I'm going through and I'm taking his hand and sliding down. And I'm gonna do that so I pretty much kind of form a ponytail, but I'm not gonna put it in an actual ponytail. See, it's kind of slick, but not. it's not hard, but it's slick. Just the roots. I'm not really focusing on the end because I'm going to break that down in the end. Okay, now that I have found my part, <sighs> hardest decision ever. I like a little old lady. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to pull it back. Just gonna completely slip them down. I have time for baby hairs. Okay. Next step is you're gonna take your ponytail. Mine isn't that long, but it's okay. Take your ponytail and you're gonna braid it down, French braid, separate into three and braid down. Take a rubber band and you're gonna tie that rubber band around the bottom of your braid. Okay, so I have my Sanix wraps. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know. I'm gonna take my wraps, I got them in black. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap this around my entire ponytail. rubber band and I'm just going to use this to make sure my wrap don't come apart and at the bottom so now I have a stiff ghetto girl ponytail like this and next you'll take your hair And remember, it is just like pretty much like a bundle of hair. Okay, now that you separated that, you may want to take your scissors. That's if you want to. I know some people, they don't. They just glue, wrap and glue, wrap and glue. The whole thing, that's pretty much what I do. But I am going to take, this is so long. I'm going to take like maybe like this much. I'm going to cut it and then glue this, glue and go. I don't know how else to describe it. Okay, here's my scissors. I'm gonna take just a part of the weapon, just go through it, cut it, and you'll do any other hair. So this is the piece that I have cut off. And I'm just gonna to start to glue. Put glue on my weft. Only on the weft. And I'm not gonna go all the way down because I did cut a long piece. I'm actually not gonna do all of that. So cut to my preference. So this is the part I put glue on. Oh my hands are so sticky. I'm gonna start. Okay, this hair is so long. Start at the end of my ponytail. And I'm just gonna 
wrap this piece around my ponytail. Going upwards. And I'm scared. I feel like I need to stand up. I've never used hair this long before. My hands always get messy. At this point, I don't even care. This time, I'm just gonna put glue on this front piece. The rest of this hanging does not have any glue on it. Less of a mess. You pick up from where you left off. And since the rest of it didn't have glue, this is where my glue stops, right here. So I'm gonna just put glue on this rem remaining part that's hanging. Okay, so now that last piece glued down, mine is a little up actually, not glued down. Blow dry it, make sure it's all dry, even though it's shaving dry, this stuff dries really quickly. So now I'm going to, since this hair is not human hair, you have to treat it just a little bit different than you would treat other hair. So I'm just gonna take my comb. I should use a white tooth comb, but use a brush if you have a um, wig brush by you. I'm just gonna take a comb and comb from the ends up, be gentle. Okay, I'm back after I comb my ponytail out. I am going to take a small piece of it. You don't have to take a lot. I'm so not used to working with bland hair. So I'm gonna take a piece maybe this size. And I'm gonna use this to wrap around the ponytail. And I'm literally just gonna take this piece and wrap it around the top of the ponytail so that you want so that you won't see any wefts or any hair ties or anything else that you could possibly see. Okay, so now that you have wrapped your ponytail, just spray gas to be glued. And some of my hair kind of messed up, so I'm just gonna spray that down too. Just make sure everything is slick. And there is your ponytail. Nice and simple, right? And I know some people prefer baby hairs. If that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. I get it. They're in, they're popping, yes. But guess what? That's not the type of hair I have. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that my edges 
are nice and slick. I have 4C hair, people. And I'm also gonna take my slick stick and I'm gonna put this on my edges as well. If you don't know what a slick stick is, it's kind of like edge control. So it's pretty much what it is. It helps when you have um, wigs, like lace fronts wigs, and you're trying to blend in those little hairs that just won't lay down for nothing. You'll take a slick stick and you just... So yeah, I'm gonna take that and put it on my edges. Cause I don't want my hair to give you that hard look. I don't want it to give you that hard look. I want it to give you a soft look. And I maybe put too much right there. <laughs> this is a hairstyle that you will have to tie down at night, every night. And remember that this is not your Brazilian, your Peruvian, none of that stuff. So, There's your pony. 36 inches on the flow. Can't tell me nothing, period. Thank you all for watching my video. I appreciate each and every last one of you all. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you all. Wish y'all the best. Peace.